A diagram of a yellow teardrop substance. Text. What makes urine yellow? A woman in glasses in front of a science-themed blue background. Shou Fang Jiang, tenure track investigator, National Library of Medicine. You all started because we are interested in what kind of functions uh, gut bacteria can do. And it turned out we found this one function that while important for the human physiology is the reduction of bilirubin to your brain gene. A graphic of showing how various chemical structures are connected. Your brain gene was then converted to uh, your brain, which causes the urine color to be yellow. Jiang and several people sitting around a table with laptops and a large display. One of the projects our lab have been working on is to identify this enzyme that is, that, uh, uh, is a mystery enzyme that have now been characterized before, and this enzyme is responsible for converting bilirubin to your brain gene, and that's performed by the gut bacteria. The importance of this enzyme, bilirubin reductase, is that it helps our body break down heme and convert it into products that we can get rid of as just part of our normal, healthy course of life. A man in a polo shirt with same science-themed background. Text, Keith Dufault Thompson, postdoctoral fellow, National Library of Medicine. But in order to understand what microbes are doing that, the first step that we needed to, to do was actually find the mystery gene that performs this function. A group of people posing for a picture, holding up beakers. Text, University of Maryland, the Hall Lab. We had a really collaborative effort with the Hall Lab to identify first a group of bacteria that could reduce bilirubin in the lab, and then our side we were able to look at the genomes of those bacteria and eventually identify likely enzymes that we were then able to confirm their functions and then look at bigger picture trends like the relationship of that gene to different, uh, different kinds of diseases. Images and video of infants with yellow colored skin. Very commonly in infants, uh, we'll see a buildup of excess bilirubin, which then can uh, cause the coloring of the skin and eyes, uh, cause a little bit of pain for them and fevers, and in more severe cases lead to uh, you know, brain damage and you know, hearing loss and, and more severe effects. A screenshot of the SRA webpage, text, 42 bioprojects available in the sequence read archive SRA. Text, IBD inflammatory bowel disease. Once we had an idea of what enzyme was involved in this, we were then able to go into uh, these large publicly available data sets from young infants, healthy adults, and patients with IBD. And so we were able to kind of, for the first time, show that these young infants in the first you know, 30 to 60 days of life are often missing this gene, while healthy adults almost always have it. We were also able to see that about 30% of IBD patients were also missing that gene. Now that we have a, a much better understanding of what bacteria are involved, this can hopefully lead to some better outcomes in terms of the infants that develop jaundice. Bilirubin reductase is just a tip of iceberg of the uh, many functions our gut bacteria perform. And we want to further characterize more enzymes like it to understand uh, the role of the gut microbiome performed in our human health. A screenshot of a Nature article. Text. Read the article at nature.com. Find a link in the description area. Gray and blue and IHNLM logo serving scientists and society.